Navigating a blog can get tricky as its content library grows. Some visitors may want to dig deep into your post's archive, but they may feel discouraged by a poorly organized website. That's why the archives block enables visitors to easily navigate your catalog according to each article's publication month. You can add archives to your website's posts and pages just as you would with any other block. Press on the plus icon, type in archives and select the first option. Once you place the block, you'll see links to your blog's archives from the past few months. By default, the list looks very unassuming, especially if you only have one month like I do here in the example. As you can see, the archives block doesn't add a header or any identifier above the links to your content library. However, the element offers a few other customization options. Before we talk about those settings, it's important to note that you can also add the archives block as a widget. Many websites place links to their post archives in their sidebars or footers, making it easier for readers to find what they're looking for. If you want to do this, you could go back to your dashboard, go to appearance and click on widgets. As you can see with this theme, I can add widgets to my footer. I would just scroll to the bottom, press the plus icon and type archives like we did just before. Careful placement will make it easier for users to access your post archives. The best position will depend on your WordPress theme and your site's layout. It's worth noting that the archives block doesn't include many customization options. The elements list style will depend on which theme you use. You can't change the block's font or the color of its text and links. However, you do have access to other options. If we press on the block, you'll see a toolbar show up. Our first option lets us transform to group or columns. We have our drag and move tools the change alignment, which also lets us select wide width or full width. And then we have more options. Just like with every other block, we could copy, duplicate, insert before, after, move to, add to reusable blocks, group, and of course, remove block. Additionally, if we press the settings icon at the top right of our screen, we'll have a few more options. First up, we have archives settings. If we don't like the way that it's currently formatted, we could actually toggle this to display as a dropdown, where we can just simply select the month that we want to see. There's also a toggle for showing the post counts. This way people can see how many posts are within that month. Under advanced, we have the option to add additional CSS classes to this block. Once we decide on a style for our archives block, you can save your poster page and visitors will be able to browse articles from your content library with much more ease. Now here's the thing, to get the best possible results, we do recommend adding other elements that can also help visitors find the content they want. For example, you can include a recent post section and a search bar. Combining an archives block with either or both of these elements can increase visitors' time on your website, which in turn can increase your conversions and build a stronger audience. That's pretty much all you need to know about the WordPress archives block. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel as we have a ton of content on all of the other WordPress blocks. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.